Hello everyone, my name is Ashishel Charles from the Irvington Public Library. Today, I'll be reading My Hands Tell a Story, written by Kelly Starling Lyons and illustrated by Tanya Angel. There's my Zoe, Grandma says, waving me into the kitchen with a flowered hand. Can I help? Wouldn't it be the same without you, she says. I wash my hands and stand beside her at the table. Grandma shows me how to knead dough into a ball that will rise like magic. Her hands tell a story if you listen. I was just a little girl like you when mama taught me how to make cinnamon bread, she says. Ingredients are only part of it. You've got to get the rhythm. Push and pull, push and pull. I try to do like grandma, but the dough bunches instead of glides. It's sticky instead of smooth. I frown at my hands and wonder if they will ever move like hers. Like this, she says, sprinkling flour like fairy dust and placing her hands over mine. We use the heels of our palms to push the dough forward. Then we fold to pull it back again. Push and pull, push and pull until it's just right. I place the dough into a greased bowl grandma covers with a cloth. Making bread takes time, she says. So we sit and wait, we sit and talk. Her hands tell a story if you listen. Grandma holds her palms in front of her like a map. They look like roads, I say, tracing the lines. She smiles like they go places only she knows. wasn't easy, she says, typing and filing until my hands ached, then heading to the studio at night. Some people said I should just be happy I was working, but I had a dream of dancing on stage. I picture grandma in the spotlight, head raised toward heaven, her hands weave a world without saying a word. Then she takes off, leaping and twirling through time and space. Her fingers are branches, stretching toward the sky. I look at my hands and wonder what stories they will tell. Where will they go? What will they learn? I glide a fingertip down grandma's rose painted nails and across her knuckles. I stop when I get to her wedding ring with flowers blooming on the blank band. When your granddaddy and I got married, she says, we bought a little land people said wouldn't grow a thing but weeds. But we broke up the soil, planted and tended, loved and believed. Our blessings burst through the earth. Yes, they did. Eating at their house always makes me feel special. Gifts from their garden steam in china dishes, squash and onions, collard greens, candied yams. Tangy smells tickle my nose and make my mouth water. I wonder if one day my hands will grow something too. Before I know it, we need to check the dough. I can't believe how big it has swelled. We flatten it, then dust it with cinnamon sugar. Next, we roll it up and lay it, on the pan, lay it in the pan. I cover it with cloth so it can rise again. Let's get some air, Grandma says.
Outside on the glider, the wind whistles as grandma rubs my hand, soft as a whisper. I hear murmurs of her hands flowing and dancing, praying and planting, stroking my hair when she thinks I'm asleep. Then something happens. I look at my hands, really look at them for the first time. I can see memories in every line. Clapping games with friends, drawing my dreams, building and baking. Time for the oven, grandma says, rising to go inside. While we wait for our bread to be ready, I think about the power in my hands. They can turn pages, color, and create. What will tomorrow bring? When Grandma puts down her crossword puzzle, I jump up and race to the oven. It's time. She cuts hunks of our cinnamon swirled bread. The spicy aroma makes me wiggle. I spread butter that melts into each nook. We take a bite and slap our hands together. Grandma stares at my fingers like she's seen something new. You have my hands, she says. Our fingers are long and skinny, sweet brown like sugar, made for holding and reaching. But you'll go places I've never been, Grandma says with pride. I see my hands raised in victory as I cross the finish line. I see them making music. I see them writing about grandma and me. At home, I type on my computer and hear the tap tap rhythm softly first and then louder and stronger. The words fly out like they're sailing on a breeze. My hands tell a story, if you listen. The end. Thank you everyone for joining me today, and I will see you next time. Bye!